an initiative led by an Edmonton woman is helping the city's homeless community stay warm. Jasmine Topham started Number Bundloipig five years ago with the hope of helping a few homeless Edmontonians by collecting some winter clothes from friends and family. I was sitting in the kitchen and heard a call out from some shelters that they were in dire need of clothing because it was so cold, and I thought, I have two weeks of spare time, maybe I'll just put the call out to my friends and family to see if they have any winter clothing. I'll go pick it up and deliver it, Topham said. Read more, a glimpse into Edmonton's River Valley homeless. With the help of her husband and parents, Topham collected 40 bags of winter clothes over a two-week period during that first year. Since then the project has grown exponentially. This year, with the help of 13 friends and family members, Number Bundloipig collected 1,280 bags of clothing, which is about 12,800 items of clothing over 48 days. That's more than the previous four years combined. Oh my gosh, I'm still surprised. Honestly, I don't think it's sunk in, Topham said. Big thank you to the incredible at 1023 Now radio team and Number Now family for another incredible year of donating to Number Bundloipig. Just collected 27 bags from the studio for our last pickup. We love you guys so much. Number Yeg Number Bundloipig pick.twitter.com forward slash CQUZ6PHOCX. Bundloipig at Bundloipig, December the 18th, 2017. Everyone please join us in congratulating the number Bundloipig 2017 volunteer team. These incredible PPL have spent hundreds of hours in their vehicles to collect and deliver your clothing donations to number Yeg homeless shelters. We couldn't operate without them pick.twitter.com forward slash SKHR5XLSN9. Bundloipig at Bundloipig, December the 18th, 2017. Topham credits her group of volunteers, who made 220 trips to pick up clothing and 61 trips to drop off the bags at local shelters, as well as other factors. I think it was a combination of more volunteers, we have a ton of support from local shelters as well as our collection box hosts, and I think, again, just as people have gotten to know us, they talk to their friends, she said. Read more, more operating money needed to end homelessness, Edmonton counselors told. She also says social media has played an important role in allowing the initiative to grow. Now that's how people find us. We've asked a lot of our donors how did you hear about us. And like 90% of them say social media, Topham said. It just goes to show the power and the good that social media can have. Grateful. In TH last 48 days, Jasmine and her fleet of number bundle buddies made 17 trips to Bissell Center, delivering 371 bags of warm clothing. In total this season, at Bundloipig has delivered 1,280 bags to inner city agencies. Root equal high fives for JAS and the team, number yegpick.twitter.com forward slash MG Erboixi. Bissell Center, at Bissell Center, December the 20th, 2017. Read more, updated plan sets sites on ending chronic homelessness in Edmonton by 2022. The Bissell Center has been one of the shelters that's benefited from Number Bundloipig. It's amazing with Number Bundloipig and collaboration with Edmontonians to come together and to donate clothing.